was crazy. Tell us more about Top Golf. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't oh, know. I kind of jammed my thumb, so it was a little hard to shoot, but I, I, I'm the best golfer by far, so it didn't really affect me too much. You're the best on the whole team, or you're just best of the guys that you took home with you? I'm probably the best on the whole team. Um, really? How'd you, how'd, you, how'd you get good at golf? Did you play in growing up? Or? I'm just good at a lot of things I do. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not, I'm not too good at golf. I'm just kidding. But, uh, I did get the higher score, and they, they weren't that good. That's probably what it was. <laughs> Who had the lowest score? Uh, Kenny Bynum, definitely, Kenny. yeah, yeah, I do tank golf. <laughs> <laughs> when you look at Alabama on film, what's the difference in them since the Ole Miss game? Obviously, the tur they turned the ball over much in that mm -hmm. game, but is there anything else you see just in terms of how they turned it up since then? Uh, i say it kind of spread it out a little bit more. Um, get more uh, 11 personnel, get more athletic people in the field. Um, so they kind of throw the ball a little bit more, too, as well. What do you feel like Tennessee has the advantage going into the game? Uh, I just feel like it's our mentality. Like we expect to win. Um, we know we're talented. Uh, we, they're probably just as talented, but um, I feel like we've been through it all this year. Been through the losses. Uh, we finally got a good win on our shoulders. So we all like the we all like the feeling of it. So we're just trying to get it again. How much do you think that that does help going through those tough losses? I know Alabama had one against Ole Miss, but you know y'all had a couple of really close heartbreakers. Yeah. What does that do to prepare you to go into an environment? Like um, it, it can it really hurt you, get you down, but um, I think we took it as a positive. Uh, we looked at the positive things from it. I uh, know we can play with any team. know we have a hard schedule, so uh, this shows that we can play with anybody and um, it added to our confidence. What's different about them in terms of the passing game? I guess with, with Cooper gone now, it's a different team, but how, how do they operate differently as far as how they throw the ball? They have a bunch of different routes this year that I've never seen them run before. Uh, they run double moves, um, get people in space to get the matchup. So uh, we got to be ready for it all this year. We can't um, just worry about traditional routes. They, they like to do um, some new type routes, if that makes sense. Just stuff that you haven't seen them do before? Yeah, yeah, done any stuff, yeah. Before. Does anybody like, else usually do that kind of oh, stuff? Oh, yeah, yeah. It's like kind of slick, uh, West Coast kind of. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you sense Alvin's particularly motivated for this game, this game, his old team? And what does he, what does he kind of talk to you about? Uh, he's definitely motivated every week. He always brings it every week. But uh, you kind of see, see it in him that he's ready to um, come off this game. And I'm, I'm expecting big things from him. Are you going to make him stop wearing the elephant necklace this week? Oh, yeah, yeah. He definitely can't wear that this week. <laughs> so you got to take that off. And you might have to let him borrow a new one. What does he say when he talks about Alabama? I mean, how does he sort of remember that? Uh, he, he gives us a lot of little insight, like to their offense and stuff like that. Um, there's stuff about the players and stuff. Mm -hmm. um, he's very supportive, trying to help the defense out, give us any um, advantage we can get. Mm -hmm. Can he help me? Obviously, they've changed change coordinators and oh, stuff yeah. since he's been there. I mean, can he mm -hmm. say much? That oh, yeah, and are... definitely not about the scheme because their scheme mm -hmm. is like totally different. But uh, individual players, he can tell us a little bit more about. You guys have talked a lot about Derrick Henry. Just how much. How prepared are you to face a guy like that with the running backs you faced last couple weeks? Oh, we faced some of the best running backs in the nation, so um, we know he's a, a great running back. He's going to um, have his plays, and we're just going to try to limit him and get him down when we get to him and uh, limit missed tackles. Are things around here different after the Georgia win, or is it kind of just you know the way that it's always? Oh, it's definitely different. Um, it's a lot of positive. Um, it's positive atmosphere, a lot of good things being said. Um, a lot of uh, hope, a lot of um, expectations now that we got to meet this week. So I uh, we look forward to getting out there and doing it. How much closer would you say the team is now than it was maybe coming off of that Arkansas loss? Oh, we're always close. We're, we're very close after the losses because we know um, how critical it can get after losses, how um, much blame can be passed around. So I think all the losses got us close. And when we finally got the win, you know, that's always good as well. To this point in his career at Tennessee, and with the staff in general, what would you say the, the evolution of Coach Jones as a coach and, and as a mentor has been like since he's been here? Uh, he just got to know us. Um, he knows what makes us tick, knows what makes us work. Um, to our full potential, so he uses that every day at practice, trying to make us better. And also, he just, he just got us um, believing in ourselves as well. Thank you. Thanks, right, thanks, man. Appreciate it, man.